Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, I am going to be unboxing my latest pickup that I received from Phil Marina, and it is of the Justice League. And as you can see, it comes in this rather deluxe looking release. And uh, I honestly cannot wait to take his around it. It's such a beautiful, beautiful release. Now, it does consist of two, two editions in this box set. You've got the 4K, you've got the Blu-ray, both editions are drastically different to each other. And you also get a different steelbook in each edition as well, which is always welcome. It's not always the case with Film Arena, but when that does happen, it's always great to see it. Now, I just want to give you a heads up for anyone that actually is interested in actually picking this up, especially after seeing this video. And I'm hoping to give you a good in-depth look into it. And trust me, you're going to be impressed by it. But uh, yeah, anyone that's interested in picking this up, um, I just want to give you a heads up that don't go onto Film Arena's website and look for this actual artwork you won't find it uh, you, what you have to do is you actually have to put both editions into your basket and this hard box is actually given to you as a gift that's how it's done now I, my advice to you is, is to inquire about this because when I actually ordered them, I put the two editions in. If you actually go into the description, you, they will mention the hard box in the description that they're going to be giving it to you as a gift. But I've noticed that's been removed out of the description now. Now, I don't know why because I can't imagine the box is actually sold out when the two editions are still available. So uh, just inquire about it and make sure that you are definitely getting the hard box because the last thing you would want is to get these two editions through the door and you have nothing to house them in. And if you actually do get the hard box, if they actually confirm it to you, try to get looking to get one of them pl these plastic cases. I don't know if you can actually come across in the camera, but yeah, it's in this beautiful plastic case. Uh, you really want to protect these. I think the plastic case only costs around one euro thirty cent. Uh, very, very cheap. And it actually displays well in them plastic cases. So I do recommend, uh, yeah, purchasing one of them as well to go with this release. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking this around that very, very soon. But as for the movie itself, I am a big, big fan of it. Um, it's a hell of a lot better than the Josh Whedon Justice League that we got. I don't know what, what it is which the Zack Snyder caught. I just feel like the characters got a bit more, got me a bit more fleshed out. Uh, you know, just a bit more character de development, which is a welcome ad ad addition to a movie like this. I also enjoyed the darker tone to this movie as well. The only problem I do have with it every time I watch it now is it all seems irrelevant. That's the only problem I have with it. You know, um, whatever, whatever they were setting up at this movie, we are never going to get answers to. Which is, uh, it really is a shame considering the movie and how good it is. And even Jared Leto... Uh, comes into it at near the end of it as the Joker and I even found his Joker to be actually so much better than what we've seen in that god-awful Suicide Squad movie so yes everything that went on in this movie really did uh, it really ticked all the right kind of boxes for me but like I said it's just a shame that we're never going to get any kind of conclusion to it right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take us around this release and I'm going to show you everything that's in it because there is a bit to get through so uh, yeah let's get to it Right, so let's get started. So the actual hard box actually does come with this little J card, which I'm just going to quickly show you first. Uh, so as you can see, it's just a write-up about the movie itself. You've got the credits there in the middle, and of course you have the uh, technical aspects there if you do want to pause them and check them out. It gives you the Blu-ray and 4K. So uh, yeah, that's just uh, the J card. So put that to a side, and uh, let's get on with the release of it. So um, I have to admit, the hard box uh, is very simplistic, the artwork, but it is very nice as well. And I don't know if it is coming across in the camera, but as you can see, the actual all the writing here is done in heavy spot glossing. And uh, I think it actually looks beautiful. It really, really does. But again, very, very simple looking artwork on this. And uh, speaking of the hard box as well, wow. It doesn't get any tougher than this. It just, it's so strong. Uh, you know nothing is ever going to happen to it. And uh, not only that, but the paper on it does have that lovely soft touch feel, which I do. I'm a big, big fan of, and you see it a lot on the uh, Film Arena's uh, releases. So, uh, yeah, just a quick look at the artwork there. Then take us around to the spine of it. And uh, as you can see, it is quite a meaty looking set. And then right around to the back, and uh, you got the, just the Justice League flag there. And again, you got that kind of weird texturing that you do some, sometimes see with uh, Film Arena's editions. And uh, I think it looks beautiful. And even the writing down the bottom is all done in spot glossing as well. So uh, yeah, you can clearly see that there's plenty of work gone into this release. And again, very, very simple. So uh, right down to the top of it, you have uh, the Justice League, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. And then right around to the bottom, and it gives you your unique number. And as you can see, there's only 750 of them, and I have got number 56. 
that is the lowest number I've ever gotten for a film arena edition. So there you have it, and then that is your two editions that we're going to be looking at in this uh, in this video. Right, so there you have it, folks. That is the actual hard box. So let's go on to the first edition, which is the 4K release. Right, so here we go, edition one. So I'm just going to push this release to a side, uh, show you this card quickly that you get with it. So uh, you get these with every single Film Arena uh, edition. So it gives you your unique number, 56 of 750. And as you can see, it is matching with the hard box itself. And that's exactly what you want to see. So uh, yeah, that is just the J card on that one. And let's get on with the uh, edition itself. And uh, check out the lenticular on this and how well this actually works. So one minute you can actually see the entire cast there. And uh, as soon as you turn it, you get this uh, cool looking Justice League uh, logo, uh, which just looks absolute badass. It really, really does. And I think you can make out Dark Side there in the background. I think that's Dark Side. Or maybe it's Stepping. No, I think it is Dark Side. So uh, yes, the lenticular works so well on this release and the Blu-ray edition does have a lovely lenticular on it as well, which I can't wait to show you. But uh, yeah, it's a real stunner. So uh, right, I have to stop playing with it. <laughs> right, let's get onto the spine of it. And then right around to the back. And uh, this one has a high gloss finish. Normally with a lot of notes with a lot of film arenas uh, editions, you kind of get that soft touch kind of paper. This one does have a more glossy feel to it. And it's actually, again, it's a welcome, a welcome bonus. And again, I'm hoping that comes across in the camera how well uh, it actually does look. So as you can see, it is the Justice League themselves just in the back. And uh, I have to admit, when you do see the Blu-ray edition of this, uh, the picture they have in the back of it is absolutely stunning and I can't wait to show you. So, uh, right, that is the back artwork. Then right around to the top, and you got Zack Schneider's Justice League. And then, as per usual, if you take a look to the bottom, you get your unique number again. And then right to the spine of it, and this is your contents. So, right, that is the artwork uh, for this edition, and uh, yeah, beautiful. Right, so let's open it up and have a look and see what's inside. So you have uh, your steelbook, you got this envelope full of uh, collector's cards and you've also got uh, a booklet. So uh, I think I will start with the, I'll start with the booklet and then we'll make our way onto the cards and then uh, finish with the steelbook itself. So there you go, that is the, the artwork on this one. And again, you can sort of see that, sh that Justice League uh, logo there on the background. And you just simply got Zack Schneider's Justice League. And then around the back of it, there's nothing there at all. So uh, I'm just kind of curious to see which one this is. So this one just has stills from the movie, but uh, I can promise you that the booklet on the Blu-ray edition will actually have a write-up of the movie. So uh, yeah, just a quick look at the booklet there. I'm not going to spend too much time with it. And then that brings us on to your collector's cards. And uh, yeah, all the artwork through this entire set, it's very simplistic, but I, I don't know why it just, it works very well for this release. So uh, as you can see, once again, Zack Schneider's Justice League, you just kind of kind of the logo there as well. And then your collector's cards. And I don't think there's anything in the back of it other than my fingerprints. Uh, I really should start wearing gloves when I'm handling these editions. <laughs> right, so uh, right, let's open it up and see what we have. So as, as far as I remember, I think there's character cards and there's a couple of stills. I think these are the character ones. I'm just going to quickly show you these first. But uh, yeah, that's the backs of them there. You just simply have the Justice League written on the back. And uh, yeah, it's just some of the, the characters from the movie. So you've got Darkseid there. Uh, of course, you've got Wonder Woman. Uh, Superman. And that's uh, Cyborg. And of course, Batman. The Flash. And uh, Aquaman as well. Uh, no, sign, no sign of Steppenwolf, which is... Uh, it's a strange thing because uh, Darkseid, he's not really featured that much in this movie. So i uh, not quite sure why Steppenwolf is not there. So uh, that's just a couple of uh, the character cards that you get with it, but these are the uh, the ones, the stills from the actual movie. So uh, as you can see, they're all the same backings as well. It's just the Justice League written on the back of them. And right, let's go through these as quickly as possible. So yeah, there is some great uh, stills uh, from the from the movie uh, on these postcards. And uh, I know there's people out there that's not too thrilled about these postcards, but I have to admit, I actually really enjoy them. I love actually going through them every now and again. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy with them. So uh, as you can see, yeah, it just shows some of the heavy hitters from the movie and uh, yeah, just a couple of scenes from the movie. So uh, right, that is the, 
the actual cards themselves. So put that to a side, I'll put that envelope over there. And then that brings us on to the Steelbook. So I know the Steelbook is widely available. Thankfully, I never picked up a single Steelbook uh, for uh, the Justice League. So uh, it really is a win-win for me. So as you can see, you can just see all the hands of the characters there. And of course you got the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the staff for Aquaman. And of course the sword there for Wonder Woman. So uh, yeah, it's, it's not a bad looking Steelbook. By no means the best looking Steelbook I've ever seen, but yeah, it is nice. So uh, that is the spine of it. And then right around to the back, and yeah, that's the uh, the cube or whatever you want to call it that you see that's featured heavily in the movie. So uh, right, or the mother box, is that what it's called? I can't really remember. So uh, that is the back artwork anyway, and then open it up and you have got your 4K disc, and then oh yeah sorry it's two 4k discs so it's uh it's the movie on two discs and then you have your inside artwork and check out the uh, artwork inside of this uh it looks beautiful so there you have it folks that is everything in the first edition so let's get on to the second one right so here we go edition two so uh, i'm going to just push this to a side i'm going to bring in this card quickly again just to show you but as you can see the card does have different artwork you have wonder woman uh where the other one actually had batman and of course you got your matching number there 56 or 750. right so I'll put that to a side and let's get on with the release itself so as you can see there is another uh lenticular cover on this one and uh it works very well just like the other edition so as you can see you got the cast there all on the bottom and then as, as soon as you turn it you just see the Justice uh, Justice League flag there, and uh, it's just the kind of standing up in a pile of rubble. So uh, yes, the lenticulars work so unbelievably well on both editions, and I have to tell you, is if I if I had to pick between one edition, it would be hard uh, based on the main artwork. But I think what might turn people towards this edition is uh, when you actually see the back artwork, and uh, yeah, I'll be showing you that now very very soon. So uh, yes, that is the main artwork on this release. And uh, again, I can't praise it enough. And that is the spine of it. And again, I don't know if, that, if this is coming across in the camera. Uh, this does have a, a kind of a high gloss finish to it, but it does have this texturing going through it uh, that you didn't have on the 4K release. So that again, I'm hoping the camera does pick that up, but it is very nice. And uh, the Justice League is all spot gloss. All that writing is all spot glossing. And then, uh, right, let's get on to the back of it and check this out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, that is, uh, honestly, the minute I seen an unboxing for this, I knew uh, I needed to at least get this release if I could. Uh, there is so much going on uh, in terms of like the, you know, spot glossing, texturing uh, with the back artwork in this. It really is uh, something that I've never uh, seen before. And uh, again, like I said, I think this is what's going to drive people to the Blu-ray release of this. Uh, so as you can see, it is Steppenwolf. He's holding that axe. And uh, yeah, again, I'm just hoping this my camera does this justice of how beautiful this actually looks. Um, honestly, folks, I've never seen anything like it uh, for a Film Arena release. So uh, right, that is the back artwork. And uh, my, I can't actually take my... I can't take my eyes off it, it's incredible. So uh, right, let's turn it around here to the top. And as you can see, that is it's actually, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League in the top. And then right around to the bottom, of course, you get your unique number again. And then that brings us to the contents inside. So right, that is all the artwork uh, on this release. And uh, honestly, I, I can't praise it enough. So, right, let's open it up and uh, get everything out. So, that is your steel book. You've got your cards there as well, and of course, your booklet. So, just like the last one, we will start with the booklet first, and then we'll make our way onto the cards themselves. So, um, yes, this will, this should uh, have a write-up more than actual stills like the last booklet. So, uh, as you can see there, it's just simply Justice League. And then, right around to the back. Not much there. So uh, yeah, I think it's yeah you will get a write up of the I think it's the maybe the movie itself. There's probably a write up of the uh, the characters as well. Yeah, it would be it'd be each character. I just seen Henry Cavill there. So uh, yeah, just a couple of uh, just a bit of a write up of each character and then a, a bit of the making of the movie itself. So uh, yeah, that's just a quick look at the booklet. I don't want to spend too much time with it because it will go on far too long. 
and uh, here we go this is the collector's card so as you can see the envelope is done the exact same as the last uh, release but I can assure you is that the cards that are inside this uh, will be very very different than the uh, the 4k release so uh, right let's open this up and let's have a look and see what we have so I know some of these are different again some are photo cards some are post cards I I honestly don't know what the difference is meant to be with them but uh, yeah we'll start with these ones first so uh, as you can see the back ends are the same and uh, yeah so you got uh, a pretty cool picture there of uh, Steppenwolf and I think he's holding that I think it is the mother box that he's holding now and uh, you got dark side there of course Aquaman you got the flash Aquaman again then you've got Henry Cavill there what a shame that we'll never see him as a uh, Superman again and of course you got Ben Affleck there so uh, yeah just a couple of these uh, just stills from the movie and then you have these other ones here and uh, again I'm not sure what the differences are meant to be with these but they're just uh, they're just scenes from the movie itself uh, again I'm hoping uh, these can make that out it is quite dark but uh, yeah we'll quickly go through them again so you got Steppenwolf there again uh, you got Cyborg dark side again I think that's Henry Cavill and oh do you know what it is I'll tell you now I was actually wrong so them postcards there uh, were meant to belong with them other ones and then these ones here are actual uh, poster artwork uh, for the Justice League all the unique uh, unique poster artwork that we've seen uh, for this movie so it's a lot of everything that we've seen through this entire set so uh, yeah that is everything there so yeah just a, bit, a few poster artwork uh, postcards there so right that is the cards themselves and uh, push that to a side the envelope and then let's get on to uh, the steelbook and uh, the steelbook is quite similar to the last one only for now you can actually see the characters uh, in, uh, in full where you can only see their hands in the other one so like I said you don't see this uh, that often with film arena where they put in a different two different steelbooks but it is great when it does happen uh, I think I actually, my Ish uh, Chapter 2 edition, they've done something similar with it as well, where they put in two different steelbooks. And uh, yes, I think I do prefer this steelbook over the other one. There's a bit more going on. So, uh, right, take us around to the spine of this one. And right around to the back. And as you can see, the artwork, I think, is uh, the exact same as the actual uh, other steelbook. Uh, it's a shame they didn't give us something a little bit different. And uh, yeah, that's the steelbook in full. And then take it right around and you have got your this is your blu-ray disc disc two and then you have your disc one and then that lastly leads us to the inside artwork for uh, this steelbook edition so there you have it folks that is everything inside this edition i just want to quickly just bring in the two uh, releases just so i can give you a close look at them side by side but there you go that is both of them. They are two beautiful looking artworks on both of these. Again, the back artwork on the Blu-ray edition does look truly jaw-dropping. And uh, again, it would be hard to pick between the two. So uh, look, I'll leave it up to you. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is everything inside this beautiful edition of the Justice League. And wow, it really is a remarkable set. And I'm hoping my video has done it justice to just how beautiful it actually is. So, like I said, it is on Film Arena's website. Go on over and check it out. And you know what? You don't even have to buy both. If there's one edition in this box that you like, they sell them separately. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a win-win. Both of them look amazing. So, uh, yeah, go on over there and check it out. So, there you have it, folks. There you have it. So, as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on this movie, particularly the Schneider Cut. And what did you think of this edition of it? And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.